settle. I'm done. Ah, uh, yes. It's morning in South Africa. Cloudy cast day. Look at this. Man, this is terrible. Overcast day. Not that warm. We're still in summertime. Coming to the end of summertime. Going to, well, no, coming to the end of, uh, yeah, summertime going to autumn, I suppose. There we go. Uh, black chai. And uh, put a ginger thing in there, too. Tea. I do tea when I do coffee. I never was into coffee. You know what? The, when we was young, you know, they had thing called coffee ice cream. So, you know, my grandmother would buy the, the big tubs because it's like, you know, six kids and you know, whatever. And so they would dish it out. And whenever you come to coffee, I would never take the coffee ice cream. They would know. So they would always have to get Then they get that, that, that Neapolitan thing with the, with the strawberry and the vanilla and the coffee. And I always try to get that, you know, more of the thing. I wasn't into strawberry either. The point is, in a family, there's a lot of different things, a lot of different, you know, uh, children do with different needs and all the rest of that stuff. And so my family is a perfect example. I want to get into the family right now. But but I, I look at this political season the same thing. You're supposed to be looking around and see what's going on and see what suits you. Because you you, you might have, your brother might be voting for something else, your sister might be voting, you know, your mommy. So it doesn't matter, you know. So what is your and why, you know. Uh, a lot of people don't answer the why. I've, at this early state, I'm looking, I'm concentrating, because, you know, some of these people are just, I don't know, maybe just want to get the name out there, I don't know, what they need to get reelected in their districts, I don't know what the deal is, but some people are serious, right? At least they have serious proposals, well, and looking at what I've seen so far, I'm not going to mention people I'm not interested in, the two people I think that I would go for president and vice president, and why? Right? At this particular point, of course, things can change. Um, I'm gonna leave. Uh, I'm gonna deal with reparations in just a second. Um, not just a second, but sometime. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard, president. Okay. Uh, what's the standard reparations? The only thing she's done. Well, the only thing she's done. She signed on to the HR, the new HR 40, whatever. John Carney had this bill for a long time, and then she, the lead woman, she she re resuscitated it, whatever it is. And Tulsi Gabbard was early on for that, so she did that way way back when. Anyway. So she, so she has, she's at least doing the, what do you call the, um, uh, the cursory thing, which is everybody's at least signed on to the HR 40. Okay, great. Uh, next thing you have to do is now we, we do the ADOS movement, especially we have to pressure all these people to do, to, and their staff to, to point these folks in the right direction. So Telsey is where she is, right? Uh, so she's president for me. Now let me keep, keep, keep on with her. Now, why president? She said something that I think was the most profound thing I think most people miss. I think it was at her town hall. Uh, basically, the, maybe it was when she was in San Francisco. And one of those, I think San Francisco. She yeah, said, what are you, blah, 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 blah. And then she she went and said, um, um, she went and said something like, uh, uh, well, look, I've been in the military. Those, 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 I'm paraphrasing now. And I'm going to say, well, I'll tell you why. I've been in the military. And those, those um, stars and, 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 and whatever, the big, whatever, the, the, the medals or whatever, that's my, my wife's phone, man. Oh, let's just turn this thing off. Man. I'm sorry, baby. Yeah, man, I think, shoot. Here, baby. Do it, do it, do it, do it. There you go. <laughs> sorry about that little interruption, modern interruption, huh? Anyway, I'm going like, Anybody in the military would understand that these folks they can intimidate the recruits, but once you get into the, uh, some some time, it's, it's like yeah yeah that person, and then you you end up attaching yourself to people who are competent. Believe me, believe me. You know, so I guess maybe it's almost like a, I won't say vanity pop. What is it called? Look, I I'm going for Tulsa Gabbard not only because I think she can. We have military as our biggest threat to me internal, military especially, uh, but also I've been in the service. I'm telling you, you have a different perspective. These policies can be wild, but thank you for your service. Thank you for We look at you. Thank you for your service. Most, most service people won't hear. Don't thank me for my service. Get this thing straight. Maybe so I don't have to go to war anymore. I won't get into all that stuff, but you know, so Tulsi kept right now. She's the thing. Now, here's the thing. Second on the list, vice president pick. Here we go. Andrew Yang. I did a post, you know, and I mentioned Andrew Yang, and I kept on calling him Andrew Lang for something. For something. No, it's Andrew Wang for some reason. I guess it's too much. Uh, I, I didn't see Doctor Strange, but maybe too much Infinity War, something like that. And then in correcting in my comments, I put Lang. So it's kind of strange, me and Andrew Yang, what I know his name is Yang. I've been following him for a little while. 
here's the thing about Andrew Yang, this whole universal income, whatever have you. This is a strategy for me. First of all, um, let me go back. First of all, Tulsi, who, who's been in the Congress, been in government for a while, so she would know how to deal with the government part, right? I think we need somebody in there that's not in government that can, no, can, can prod people. That's what Andrew Yang, um, Yang comes in. But let me go back to Tulsi. Tulsi. So if she's from House of Representatives and she goes to president, then we, we, we can keep the Senate, because the Senate is a problem. We can keep all those other people, all those other people that's running, those senators that's running, put them back and put them, go back, go back. And then you primary some other people, some blue dog senators, whatever it is, and get them out of there, and then you have your Senate oh, done. And of course, your representatives, what you represent them, but in this whole president with Tulsi, that's, that's stopping us, that, that doesn't want inter interventions, wars, or whatever have you, that can stand up to, to the military, because she's military in chief, right? That's one thing. Now, here's where Andrew Yang comes in. This it, it basically, the, it's a good idea, and, and, and I think it, it will work. I'm sure it will work. If you ex listen to what he's saying, especially with the rise of the new the robotics or whatever have you, within five years, this thing's going to be a done deal. So you have to have somebody like that who understands, who's jump who's jumping past. Remember remember I told you uh, that I was um, you know, back in the, in the 80s when I was hanging out with the, you know, the, the Harlem, um, Politicians, you know, Charles Rangels and all some people. When Denny Farrell said that, that, they used to, that the politician's job is to jump in front of the, the movement, basically that's what he said. But this one trying to say, Andrew, 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 out of all the people, Andrew Yang to me is the one that's not jumping in front of a movement. He is, he is actually creating his own other kind of movement. You see? Okay. So now here's here's the important thing. Here's the the, the strategy that I'm using for this. If, if, if he's doing what he's doing, then the, what's going to happen? Because they say, oh, the white people are on Okay, our beef, you know, ADO's beef is with the with the government, not the white people, right? Our white people poll. The white people poll, they don't mean nothing. You know, you know, if it was in slavery, they should people be free. They'd be like, oh, please, you know, the whole thing. So what I'm saying is that, so by Andrew... Uh, Andrew Yang doing what doing he's doing, the white people get something, you know what I mean? They they get offered of you know, they they have something that they can they can go on. Then they won't be so whatever agitated that black people are gonna jump in front of which they because they jump the queue anyway, you know what I mean? Now black people getting what they want as talking I'm talking I'm talking about uh, I'm talking about American descendants of chattel slavery, those kind of black people, not these other people that snipe and whatever they don't know what they're doing, right? So that's the strategy. So Andrew Andrew and plus everybody gets it, that's includes black people too, but but we have a separate beef. We'll get, we'll take that. Plus, we're going to do our reparations. Not plus, we're going to do our reparations. Then we'll take that. Whatever, however you want to see it. But here's the most important thing: if Andrew does what he does, and Tulsi does what she does, and ADUS does what we do, what happens? Think about it. Think about it. No more wars. No more exp It's got to stop because that money's got to come from someplace. Yeah. And aside from the new robotics and all this, what Andrew's talking about. But also, you can stop that whole war machine coal. Stop it, Cole. That's the point. That's the exact point. So that's what that's what that's my whole strategy behind this at this particular point. It might change. Who knows? You know. But we'll see. Think about it. Now think about it because I said it. Think about it because it's it's you know use your logic or whatever have you. Okay. That's it for me. T from the Paddis is taking the train to the bed, letting you know what I only suspect right here from a desk of the. American descendants of chattel slavery. That's this, that's here. See you another time. Hey, baby, could you just turn the camera off? Because I'm too lazy to get up and you're over there anyway. Where exactly? Uh, just put the little button up top. The little button up top. Just hit that. The little button. The little yeah. button. Yeah? Yeah, any button. Yeah.